Hi there, so today we're reviewing the Why Things BPM Connects and this is a blood pressure monitor that is an armband blood pressure monitor. In other words, the unit that displays the readings and the armband are all incorporated into just one unit. So unlike other blood pressure monitors that have an armband that is connected via a tube to the blood pressure reading monitor this particular one is a single unit it's well designed and to be able to navigate through the menu you have just one single button so you use that to set up your blood pressure monitor and you can also use it to record your blood pressure reading. It also has the ability to be able to take three consecutive blood pressure readings. So what you can do is instead of pressing the button three times to take three separate blood pressure readings, you can switch it on and then when the BP notification shows, if you keep your finger on it, it would display times three and then when you press the button again it will start to take the readings one after the other so that is also a great thing so you can set the intervals on the app from as small as 30 seconds to 120 seconds i think that maybe 30 seconds to a minute is reasonable anything more than that for me personally i wouldn't be patient enough to wait so you have that option on the app if you want to take advantage of that feature why not go ahead with it also you can sync the blood pressure monitor with the app either using your wi-fi connection or using bluetooth so you have two options to actually sync the blood pressure monitor to the app. So if you look at the screen interface here, you can see what I'm actually saying. Another thing about this app is that it allows up to eight people to use the device. I personally don't think that it's a device suitable for sharing because I think it's more of a personal device it's more like asking you to share your smartphone with someone else and that is the kind of feeling that I get from using this particular device. So personally, I don't think it's suitable for sharing. If you want to share the app and you want to set up other users, you can do that by touching the profile icon and that will take you to this screen here and where you see family is where you can actually set up additional users by pressing the circle with the plus button that will ask you for the person's first name last name their age and their height and their weight and it would also ask you for their email address but that is optional so by the time you enter all that information you'll be able to set up an additional user so one of the disadvantages i found with this particular device is that when you are taking a blood pressure reading you have to take the blood pressure reading first and then when the person's name comes up you then have to ensure that you select the right person. So the way you do it is when the name comes up, you have a long press and that will take you to the next name on the list and then a long press again and that will take you to the next person on the list. And then if that's the person that is currently taking the blood pressure, then you take a short press and that short press would register that blood pressure reading to the person who is 
currently taking it. So I think that is slightly complex in the sense that if you forget that you need to change the setting, then the blood pressure reading could be recorded against the last person who used the device. So I think that that is a disadvantage of this device itself. And that's why I still believe that it's more of a personal device. So on the home page of the app, you'll be able to see your heart rate at the time your blood pressure was taken. And you can also see the recent blood pressure readings. So if you look at the image that has come up now, you can see what I'm talking about. But when you touch the blood pressure readings, it takes you down to a granular level where you can see the number of blood pressure readings that you took during the day, as well as the blood pressure readings that you had taken previously. So that is quite helpful information. Also, you can send your blood pressure readings to your doctor or to whoever you want to share your blood pressure reading with by using the share button on the app. You can also delete a blood pressure reading. So if you're not happy with a particular reading. So for example, if you've taken three blood pressure readings or and there is one that you consider to be an anomaly, you can actually de delete it and take another reading or you might have taken four readings and want to delete the fourth one. You can do that by touching the delete button on the app. So if you touch the dashboard button, which is highlighted in blue, it would open up your dashboard and on the dashboard, you can see the vital metrics that relate to you as an individual. So you can see your BMI, your body mass index. You can also see your height and your weight, but when you scroll further down, you can actually see your blood pressure reading. So when you touch the blood pressure reading, it takes you to a screen that looks like this. And on this screen, it would enable you to see what your blood pressure reading is over one week looking like this and over a month looking like this and over a year looking like this and at the bottom of the graph you can actually see your average blood pressure reading based on whether it's weekly monthly or yearly and then you can also see what your highest blood pressure reading has been during the week the month or the year and you can also see what your lowest blood pressure reading is over the week, the month and the year. So you can actually get a lot of data, which is great in terms of if you want to be able to use this app to collect data. So for someone like myself, I'm highly data driven. Data is really important to me and I can use this information to see whether I'm actually improving in terms of lowering my blood pressure. To actually fully test this blood pressure monitor, what I did was I compared it to three other blood pressure monitors that I had available to me at the, that point in time. And one of them is the Omron X4 Smart. Another one is the BP Doctor Smartwatch, which I recently did a review and the third one is the Braun Exact Fit 5 Connect which I did a review a few months ago. So if you look at the screen here you can see that I took five readings on each of the devices and the Wythings BPM Connect, the Omron X4 and the Braun Exact Fit 5 Connect all have similar readings. The only device that was slightly different was the BP Doctor Smartwatch, and that is probably understandable because 
It's a smartwatch that takes your BP readings on the wrist. In terms of benchmarking it against the other two devices, I was well impressed with the readings that I got from this particular blood pressure monitor. The blood pressure monitor itself in the UK costs about £90 and in the US it's about $120 thereabouts. And I would say that it's one of the more expensive blood pressure monitors but in terms of design as I said before I love it it's such a great device and something that I would recommend so if this video has been useful to you why not give the video a thumbs up also if you haven't subscribed to this channel why not subscribe you will get all sorts of information that will help you to lower your blood pressure including reviews on devices that can help you lower your blood pressure and food recipes and different types of high blood pressure foods and exercises that you can do and other useful information that can help you lower your blood pressure also why not hit the bell notification because that would enable you to be notified whenever a new video is being released on this channel. So I hope to see you next time. Stay safe and always work towards lowering that blood pressure. Bye.